Hello students, this is your instructor for um, a quick review on how to submit your SIM chart assignment. When you log into Evolve, you come to this page and you want to go to My Evolve. Scroll down all the way until you see the SIM chart simulation site. Click into it. You are brought back to the page where it shows you the SIM chart for the medical office. This is the site where you will click in to do your assignments. Student Resources is a site where you are going to be um, reviewing the step-by-step uh, -step instructions of how to submit your assignment, how to use the software if you get stuck anywhere and don't know how to follow the steps. I'm going to show you a quick review of what it shows you. For example, this is our medical office workflow page that you just downloaded and uh, you are going to follow that and you can see how it's giving you the instructions how to register a patient how to schedule an appointment these are all great instructions and they will help you in general to do your assignments okay so let's go down to your different pages and you will follow the step-by-step -step instructions here of how to register a patient on your website Coming back to our um, SIM chart main page, we did the student resources. Now you know how to use the software, how to follow the steps. Now you're going to go and do your assignment at the actual medical office website, which is the actual place of your software. So you now you can see that these are all the assigned cases I have given you. Remember, I'm not asking you to do all of them. Whatever you see on your Canvas page is what you need to follow, such as for Module 1, it says SIM chart activity number 18. This is all I want you to do for the assignment. The rest of it is whatever you want to do on your assignment sheet. I'm not asking you to do all of them. So you are only submitting. Um, you can do all of them. I will look at the ones that is for the module given or posted for this week and I will grade it accordingly. My grades are posted based upon a certain criteria which I will give you in a few minutes. Now remember this is the info panel. On the info panel you're clicking on open assignment to get to your assignment. Okay. And uh, this simulation playground is what takes you to um, just showing you how to uh, look into other things but anyways I don't want to go into that detail right now let's just click into your assignment which is 18 I really want you to pay attention to this because this is a very important page that shows you how to do your what do you need to finish your assignment so let's look at Lisa Ray these are attachments this is giving you the information of her policy group uh, co-pays and everything take a screenshot or a picture on your cell phone because you will need all of this information to document in the patient's uh, info for the patient's info on the software. Okay, and so I'm going to be checking all of this. I'm going to make sure you have put in everything, and that is how I am going to grade you according to all the attachments, according to every information that has been asked by for, from you on this page. Assignment objectives here are given to you. What exactly are you going to accomplish with this? There's a description of the assignment you need to read and make sure you remember the things that are being asked to you. Once you finish this assignment, remember you're going to go and right here at the bottom, scroll down at the bottom, you will see a start assignment. You will see submit assignment. So don't click on the submit because we are not done yet. But once you do, you will be brought back to this page where you will conduct a post case quiz, a questionnaire, and after you do the questionnaire, whatever grade Evolve assigns you is from this quiz. I am not grading you on this quiz. I am grading you of what you are documenting in every page of the software. So make sure you are finishing that properly and you can do the quiz. You're, of course, you have to do the quiz because if you don't do the quiz and save it, it will not let you submit the assignment. So let's go to start assignment. and it will bring you to software page this is just a assignment detail for you to remember what assignment i am doing you can hide it again and just keep just for the refreshing of your memory you can use this and this is this page is giving you a lot of information 
you're in the front office, you're, in, you're doing some clinical care, which is the progress notes, patient might be admitted in the hospital, you're following up, you're recharting some information. Coding and billing is when you are assigning codes for um, fi uh, filing these forms to the insurance company. So all of this information is very important and, and uh, relevant to office work in your clinic, but you have to make sure that you are uh, following your assignments as well. So our assignment was again, we came back to the last page again, but our assignment was a uh, new registration for Lisa Ray. So we begin our assignment again. I was just trying to review everything else with it. You have a calendar view. Make sure you play with all these tabs here. Okay, you want to know exactly what it is. This is an exam review which shows you what exam uh, was this patient was seen in, what doctor is evaluating this patient. And then you have a calendar, correspondence, which are emails, information, communication with the patients, patient demographics, finding a patient which is already in your system, and a form repository. So let's say we're looking for Lisa Ray. If we go into this page, we do not see Lisa Ray here because we have not yet added her. So then we will go into patient demographics and we will find Lisa by adding her last name and clicking enter. Search exit existing patients we do not have, so we will add the patient here. This is how you add a patient. Okay, so you're going to fill out this information using the att attachments we reviewed before, and you will be saving the information at the bottom every after filling out all the information. The red is has to be completed the, all the reds that you see here has to be completed to save the patient. It says it right here. Make sure you also fill out the guarantor and the inf insurance form. And uh, the guarantor, if there's none given, make sure you just write it as self. Okay. So once you finish all of that and once you save the patient, it will bring you back to our first page. Um, give me just a sec. So once you come back to this page, remember you finished everything, you have documented the new patient. Now you have to submit the assignment, but it will not let you do it until you finish your post case quiz. Make sure you click on that, answer all the questions, save it, and then submit your assignment. Okay, that is how I will be able to go into and take a look at your assignments. We can go back to our assignment listing from here. And we can do as many as we want and we can uh, keep practicing okay now if you have any questions any problems and if you find anything difficult please let me know but remember the grading is according to what you document using the attachments using the information posted on that description page not according to your quiz I will have to come in into the website look at your coursework and then grade you accordingly. But please remember your assignments are graded according to what you're um, posting into the documents, not according to the quizzes. All right, guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. And um, I will talk to you soon.